I was raised here for the first 15 years of uh, my life. When I left here, you could leave your doors open. We could even go from house to house and name every family. And now you got to put padlocks on your doors. So we are here in the middle of Poe Mill, getting ready to set up the drone to fly over Poe Mill. And we're going to take some pictures to try to see if we can get an accurate representation of the light in the neighborhood. The lighting gives us a more secure feeling when the neighborhood is lit up. You can see what is going on around you. We've been working with two neighborhoods in Greenville who would like to improve their lighting situation in their neighborhoods using GIS, which is Geographic Information Systems, to map the current situation. You know, what do the lights look like now? What's being illuminated? Mike and his students have been doing that for several years now, trying to correlate that with crime in this neighborhood. They have had no way to verify the physics model for the illuminations. And the idea is to try and make those models more robust and try and have some impact on what's going on in this neighborhood. And we're flying totally autonomous missions. We have an iPad and we program the flight path, where the waypoint is, what altitude it is, what speed it flies. We set that all up ahead of time. We push go, the quadcopter takes off, goes to altitude, goes from waypoint to waypoint and lands itself completely. It takes a leap of faith to do that. It's really exciting to be able to use physics and engineering to make people's lives better, hopefully. We want to see what it really looks like from the sky and hopefully come up with a way that neighborhoods can map their streetlights and get a sense of how well illuminated their neighborhood is without having to fly a drone. They can use our model to do that. So it's going down Hammett now? Yeah, it's going... Oh, no, it's no. going down 6. 6. six. 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 Okay. Oh, I see. It looks three square blocks, maybe. Maybe a little more. In Greenville County, streetlights um, can be a community asset if there's a homeowners association. But in many cases, neighborhoods, these are individual decisions. Um, the streetlights that are on an individual's property are paid for by that individual. The decision to leave those lights on or off is also up to the individual. So as we looked at the map, we saw a very sporadic distribution of, um, of lighting throughout these neighborhoods. It's not something that if you were gonna plan at a high level that you would really wanna see. You had these clusters of street lights and then these areas where um, the lighting was really poor. We tried to help them figure out a plan to get new street lights or or fix the location of their current street lights. It's really rewarding to see that we can, we can help people with, with GIS and it isn't just sitting behind a, a computer, um, that it, it helps people in the real world.